My name is Peter Jensen, and this is Go Engineer with SOLIDWORKS Tips, Frequent Questions Asked, or Frequently Asked Questions. To start, let me go over the outline. Topics we will discuss are Activate, Deactivate, Transfer, Uninstall, Zipped Install File, Where Are the Log Files, Verbose Log Files. First, Activate, Deactivate, and Transfer. Let's touch on Activate. Activate. How do you activate your new installation? Well, there's two different methods. You can activate over the internet, or you can activate by email. For some people who have securities in place, where they cannot access the internet, or do not have the capability to have internet on their computer station, Activating over the email is a good option. How do you activate your new installation? You want to launch SOLIDWORKS. And once you've launched SOLIDWORKS, the product activation page comes up. It asks you what you'd like to do. You have two options. You can activate your product now. or you can activate your product later. Obviously you want to activate your product now. Once you do that and you click next, the next screen over on this side, how would you like to activate? You want to select the products Do you want to activate. Usually you would select all. Then automatically over the internet is the one option and manually via email is the second option. So automatically over the internet is what you want to do and then you want to put in your email address. Then hit next. You'll have this pop-up window right here activating SOLIDWORKS or all the different products that it's activating. It's only up for a few seconds. And then you'll have this screen here come up with activation, reactivation succeeded. Once, you've, once that is finished, hit finish, and then you'll have the SOLIDWORKS license agreement come up, and you just want to read through that and hit accept. Once you hit accept, your license is activated. As far as deactivation goes, is there a license error? Did you forget to transfer your license off the uh, all old computer that is now dead? Um, call us and we can transfer or deactivate your license from that computer. Technical support 888-559-6167. To transfer a license, it depends on, on which version you're in of SOLIDWORKS, but in 2016, it calls it deactivate licenses. In 2015, it calls it transfer licenses. That's under the help menu, help, transfer, or deactivate licenses. Select that, and it'll bring up this pop-up window. Activate, deactivate your SOLIDWORKS products want to select all of them in normal basis and do automatically over the internet. Put in your email address, hit next, and then the pop-up screen will happen and your deactivation will say deactivation succeeded. Activated products are obviously zero now. You click finish and you're done with the transfer or deactivation transfer. Now you're ready to activate your license on a new computer for that same serial number. Uninstall. The best practice for a clean or full uninstall. First, you want to go to Programs and Features in the Control Panel. Go to the Windows Start menu in Windows 7. Go to Control Panel. Go to Programs, 
then programs and features and in programs and features you want to scroll down to sol your SOLIDWORKS install. If you have multiple SOLIDWORKS installs you want to find the SOLIDWORKS install that you're looking to uninstall. So SOLIDWORKS 2016. Going to right click mouse click and choose uninstall. Then once the installation manager comes up, you will see this. On the welcome summary page, you will have the uninstalled products. And you'll have each of these you'll want highlighted. So you have all of them selected. And then the next new thing that you need to do is under advanced options. You want to hit the change button. When you hit the change button, make sure you, that all the items are selected as we talked about and hit the change button in the lower right and it will bring up this. Advanced options. Program files and folders are going to be automatically selected. Select the registry note entries, the data files and folders, and if you want, you can select the download files and folders for totally clean uninstall. Once you have done that, you click back to summary and you'll have the entire installation uninstalled. Zip files, zipped install files for SOLIDWORKS. Best practices for zipped install files. First of all, you want to download from either the customer portal of SOLIDWORKS or contact GoEngineer for the installation media files. It will come in an email in a link. Once downloaded, make a new folder on your C drive that is called SOLIDWORKS 20, let's say 15 or 16 service pack 5. Copy the downloaded zip file and paste it in the newly created folder. If it is not zipped, then still copy the media to the newly created folder. If it is zipped, right click on the zipped file, go to properties at the bottom, and go to the general tab. Select the general tab, and at the bottom of the general tab, there will be an unblock button on the bottom right. Select unblock and then continue to extract the zip file to your new folder and you are done. A lot of questions I've come up with from different users and different people have called in are where do I find the log files? Now this is a couple, a few different ideas to where to look for log files. If you haven't found them when the installation fa fails and the pop-up window comes up says, would you like to save these log files? This is some locations where you can look. On a server, you can see the location here. On the client machines, it can be either here or here. Either place is a good one to look and to see which log files you can send. Try to send as many as you can that are most current in date according to the failed install. Next, creating verbose log files. When installing, if the install fails and the log files that you've sent us do not show enough data, you can create a verbose log for the next time when you try the install. This will give us a better idea of how to fix the issue. A verbose log is an in-depth, in-detailed log file that includes a lot more information than just a regular log file. Here's how it's done. 
creating a verbose log file. Again, in Windows 7, go to your Start menu, go to the Control Panel, go to Programs, then Programs and Features, or you can start the Installation Manager. On the Welcome screen of the Installation Manager, look at the top left SolidWorks icon and then left click on your mouse. This will be shown right here. Here is the icon that I am talking about. You're going to click on it. It doesn't matter left or right. Either way will work. Go down to installation logging levels. As default is going to be low, which is the fastest way to install. But if you want to create a verbose log, you want to select high. Yes, the install will be slower, but also will generate a higher, uh, a better log file, a verbose log file that will be able to be used to identify why your install is failing. And then continue with the installation. I appreciate your time today and being able to review the different topics regarding activation, deactivation, transfer, uninstall, zipped install files, where are log files, and verbose log files. This is Peter Jensen with Go Engineer Technical Support, and I appreciate your time today and have a great day. Bye-bye.